All right, uh, I'm Rod Nelson with Northwoods uh, Railway. Um, well, I just got home from a long trip. I was out in California and back. Uh, before I left, I had uh, ordered me a package, and it's finally here. Um, all the further I've gotten is to cut it open. So let's, uh, you guys are first ones looking at this long with me. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, now I got our factory direct trains uh, receipt here and my five dollars off my next order. Great. Because if I like this one, I guarantee I'll be buying more. Anyway, so we got a, a BLI with Broadway Limit or B, yeah, BLI Broadway Limited. So as you can see, let's get these styrofoam units out of here before they can get a, make a mess everywhere. So I've never ordered one from anything from Broadway before. I do have one Broadway Limited, but I bought that at a train shop. So uh, as you can see, you guys are first time with me opening this. Uh, it is uh, it's going to be it's a cab forward. Um, it's got both uh, DC and DCC, so it can run both modes. So let's. Uh, Take a look. Like I said, I've never bought anything from Parrot from Broadway Limited with sound, so hopefully this comes out without being a pain in the butt. Let's just open this up. All right. So inside, it looks like we got an owner's manual. Probably tell, you know, gives us all our uh, our function keys. You probably can't read that real well, but we'll mess around with it here in a little bit. And so that's that. We've got uh, a one-year warranty and our exploded parts on both sides. Probably not real easy to see. And by the way, if you're watching my videos and realizing, hey, his videos actually look clear. I actually went out and spent some money and bought a real HD camera. So, okay, so we get the styrofoam out of the way here. And I don't know how well I'm going to try and adjust this camera a little bit here. I just bought a brand new tripod as well, so I'm getting used to it. It's got kind of a gun pistol uh, kind of uh, thing on there. Yeah, I know Anyway, so everything looks like it's packed in here really well. They gave us, uh, I'm guessing, those attraction tires and some form of tool. I don't know exactly what it's for yet, but we'll find out when we get there. And, of course, silica gel. And looks like we get a small tube of smoke fluid. Because I know this thing smokes. Tried to break it of the habit, but it likes to smoke. And of course, they give us a nice little Broadway Limited eyes. You see these nice little funnels with anything that smokes. So, let's get the other silica gel out of here. I guess we'll. Uh, we'll so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut screen here, and we're going to. I'll get it out and. We'll get it sitting on a track here. I don't have a track with power right in front of me. It'll actually have to be back on my track that does have power. So we're going to cut scene here and I'll uh, set it on a track here. All right, so I finally got everything uh, put together. Uh, there is a... Uh, Right in here, I don't know how well you can see where my little piece of track is there, but right in here between the engine there's a plug that goes from the tender into the train, and it's a real pain to put in there. Um, uh, from what I understand, I talked to BLI, and they said this is a common issue, um, but the plug tends to be the best plug for the for these kind of engines, so that probably won't ever change. But anyway, um, like I said, this is my first time doing a review, 
And uh, this engine's been out for a little while, as far as I know. They just uh, put them on sale, and I picked one up. Um, I believe this was like $100 less than the normal price, so I was pretty happy about it. I might need to get some better lighting in here. I see it's not showing up real well. But let's see if we can zoom in just a little bit. Um, now, I'm taking kind of my ideas from other people that have done uh, reviews. And I'm sorry about the camera being shaky. I'm trying to get it right in the right position here. Um, but as you can see, the, the writing is, uh, well, graphics, whatever you want to call them, seem to be pretty decent. I mean, they're definitely legible. Um, the light boards, even though they're small, they're quite legible. And... Uh, Let's see if we can just bring the engine forward and we'll uh, look at the, the graphics on the tender. Now, um, I'm hoping to have a picture up in the corner that actually shows you an original unit. Uh, I'm going to back out here a little bit. Uh, but as you can see, um, other than the shadows here in my room, because I need better lighting, uh, the graphics are pretty crisp. Uh, look like they did a really good job, uh, but from what I've seen, all the BLI stuff has a really good job done on them. So, let's uh, come back over here to the front of the engine. Now, hopefully my picture-in-picture -picture is working, and there's a picture up above, and you can see the, the top of everything. Um, now, of course, it's a dual boiler system, so there's a sand, er, there's a steam dome here and here, which you probably couldn't see in my second. There's the second steam dome right there. Um, these were oil fed, so the oil would be come from the tender, and and they they were called the cap forward because everybody sat up in the front and drove the engine. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Everything looks, you know, I'm, I'm not real good at doing these, it's my first one, you know, and uh, I definitely uh, want to hear your comments on what I could talk about more, what I'm talking about too much. Um, anyway, um, it's got the tri-whistle system here where the, they're, you know, they're not uh, too bad looking, I mean, they actually look like whistles. <laughs> now, let's uh, back the train up and let's take a look at the front. Now, because this is a hard to get on the track, I'm not going to do a review of the other side. This thing has got a, it's got as many wheels as the Challenger does, so it can be a pain to put on the track sometimes. Get some junk back here. Let's get that all out of the way. Um, move the camera here. It might be a little shaky. Sorry about that. I'll try to edit out the shakiness, but. I ain't going to guarantee nothing. Now, on the front of the engine, hopefully, like I said, I got my picture up above. And here's my little piece of track. As you can probably see, I got the bell in here. Um, it's uh, actually a metal bell. And it looks pretty realistic. And the Southern Pacific uh, logo on the front. Now, for some reason, my tablet does not have the headlight on it. So I've got to grab my NC controller here. And uh never remember where headlight is. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go on uh so as soon as I start moving backwards or well actually when I move forward as you can see the headlight comes on and uh from what I've seen in all the pictures, that's uh, prototypically correct. Um, let's see, what else did I miss? That um, I think that's about it. Let's uh, give it a quick run back and forth. I know there's not. I don't have. I've only got like three and a half feet of track right now hooked up. And it's hooked up to my main track. I'm doing some uh, some work here on my system, on my layout. I completely pulled all the wiring because I was having uh, short issues and uh, 
my blocks weren't working right or nothing, but I'm going to pull this back a little ways. Sorry about the bounciness. And I'm going to level up the camera just a little bit. Might be a little bit at a side angle, but I'm going to run it back all the way. Uh oh, you know what I didn't do? We didn't turn the sounds on. So there's the, the startup. Actually, that's just a mute. It doesn't really have a startup, but it does do kind of go through a small startup phase. So let's uh, hear the bell. As you can hear, that's one of my uh, first things I'm going to do is turn that bell down. It's way too loud. Um, here's our just normal short whistle. That's just the. And here's the crossing uh, horn. Now, because this is a Paragon, it does have some other things. Um, I haven't played with this one yet. Okay, Horn 2 doesn't do anything. Um, it is nice, like if you're, you're hauling a passenger train. train um, I gotta set the horn, the grade crossing to, uh, to a release button. But uh, it's got passenger announcements. It's also got freight announcements. And uh, this for radio when they're radio in the tower. Okay, I haven't I haven't tried what the city sounds are. Okay, and this is farm sounds are just kind of weird. There's some other ones in here. There's uh, some industrial backstones you can get. Um, there's also a lumber mill. Uh, looks kind of neat. Um, I'm going to shut all these off so it's probably going to make a little noise. Okay, now, uh, like I said, um, I really don't have a lot of room. I'm actually going to, at a later date, uh, I'll have it hooked up to a bunch of cars. Uh, I think I've got probably six or seven passenger cars that I can hook up to it. And we'll uh, run it around or we'll uh, put all my cattle cars on and we'll run it around see how everything goes. But let's, uh, we're going to back it up first. Just like the prototype, the headlight on the front shuts down when it goes into reverse. Um, there is no uh, reverse light. Yeah, the car's still talking. Now, because I didn't go too fast, we didn't get the brake squeal. But it does do the blowdown when it stops. Now, let's bring it back to the forward coming towards us and my headlight shut off I must have bumped the button there was one there's one other feature I wanted to show you on this I want to see if I can get it going here I had it running yesterday there's your brake squeal let's see if we can get this warmed up Um, this unit does come equipped with a smoke unit, and it is DCC controlled. Let's see if we get any smoke coming out when we run her backwards. I can smell it. 
smell it, but I don't see it yet. Well, either I'm out of smoke fluid or uh, I didn't let it warm up long enough to uh, get the smoke going, but when we do the passenger run, I'll make sure that uh, we have smoke oil and then I got uh, at least one run going around with the smoking, so uh, well, that's pretty much it for uh, my review. I probably could have done better. There's probably some things you guys are saying, hey, you didn't do this, and that's great. I'd like to hear those comments, uh, good or bad, because I can always uh, improve what I do. Um, so if you like the video, please hit like. Uh, please, if you got comments, please leave them because uh, I'd like to hear what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. I mean, obviously the lighting's an issue, and that's probably going to get fixed by this afternoon. I'm going to go get some hockey puck lights and uh, put them underneath my uh, my upper level. So hopefully we'll get that fixed. And uh, like I said, if you like the review. Um, make sure you let me know what you think I did right, what I did wrong. Because um, I, I kind of thrive on the comments and uh, try to improve myself from what people think. So uh, I guess we'll see you next time. I got some more items that, uh, that I definitely want to show you. I got some European stuff that I bought. Uh, I've got to get them set up for DCC, but uh, right now they're just DC. So I won't get to see them move, but... Uh, they are kind of interesting, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys like this, and I'll do a couple more, and uh, if you guys do continue to like them, I'm going to keep doing them. I'm doing the best I can when I'm home. I'm doing as many videos as I can, trying to get some of my other stuff done, too, so I guess I'll see you next time.